Rangers. The two form teams of the latter half of the season squared off. Parramatta coming into the game with 10 wins from their past 11, while Melbourne hadn't conceded a first half point in their last four matches. Eel skipper Nathan Kalis overcame a hamstring injury to take his place in front of the blue and gold army at a sold out ANZ Stadium. It was a physical contest right from the kickoff. Terrific tackle. Melbourne had all of the early field position and after gaining the repeat set of six from a Cameron Smith rubber, they turned their dominance into points through Ryan Hoffman. It's a lovely ball for Hoffman who pours through a hole. Hoffman gets the first try of the grand final. The Eels went to the air on the short side in search of their first points. A tip for Bert. Turner came down with it after leaving the ground from the in goal area. Billy Slater stopped Kristen Inu in his tracks. Outstanding. Eric Groth and Luke Furt. There's Billy Slater. Puts his shoulder into Inu. A clever switch of play and a Cooper Cronk dummy sent a charging Adam Blair over for a 10-0 lead. And he goes straight through. Gets it back to the inside for Adam Blair. And Blair has Melbourne's second try of the grand final. Nathan Hindmarsh hadn't given up. The workhorse had 38 tackles after 38 minutes. But Parramatta's last tackle options let them down as they trailed by 10 at the break. Fui Fui Moi Moi was out to inspire his teammates. Oh, Fui Fui Moi Moi rattling Brett White. The hit woke the Eels from their slumber and Felitti Matteo broke through the Storm defensive line. On the last play of the set, Eric Groth finally got Parramatta on the board. But four minutes later, some individual brilliance from Greg Inglis restored Melbourne's 10-point buffer. They defuse the bombs well in the first half, but they don't contest it. And Greg Inglis, you can't keep him out of the game forever. Another of the Storm superstars, Billy Slater, got on the score sheet and the Storm was in control. Slater was winning the much-hyped battle of the number ones, while Inglis continued to be a threat down the left side of the field. Comes across the wingless. He fends away from one tackle. He's still going. Pops the ball back on the inside. Finch was there. He didn't miss Inu either. Inglis came up and rattled first Inu. With 11 minutes remaining, Joel Reddy kept fans interested. And when Moimoy used his size and speed, the stage was set for a classic finish. Brace yourself, Moimoy, for the corner, and Philly, Philly, Moimoy. A spilled bomb from Slater gave the Eels attacking field position, and Craig Bellamy couldn't believe what was happening. His charges survived the defensive set on their own try line before being awarded a controversial penalty for stripping. Greg Inglis sealed a thrilling victory with three minutes left. And he kicks the field goal that wins the grand final for the Melbourne Storm. The Storm now with two premierships to show for their four consecutive grand final appearances. Billy Slater was awarded the prestigious Clive Churchill medal as man of the match. Christian Jansen, Fox Sports News.